Hello everybody and welcome to part 5 of our NLTK with Python for Natural Language Processing tutorial video. In this video we're going to be talking about chunking. So what is chunking besides a really strange sounding term? So consider you have a body of text. We know how to split it up by sentence and by even by word. And not only that, but part of speech tags. We're that far. What would be the next step to figuring out the meaning of a sentence. Well, first we want to know who is the sentence talking about. Who, what, whatever. Uh, and so generally we refer to that as the named entity in the context, right? But also just a noun, okay? So a person, place, or thing is generally going to be your subject. And I say generally. Now, uh, so once you know that, okay, once you know the named entity, what's the next step? Well, the next step is going to be, or the noun, the next step is going to be finding out words that kind of modify or affect that noun. So you might have many named entities or many nouns in the same sentence. So you might have a sentence like, uh, Apple releases new phone, comes with new color case, $100 more, and Tesla releases home battery. Okay, so these are sentence. This is one sentence, but it's talking about two different things completely, and you might even have some opinions in that sentence, and you've got to figure out who's where does that opinion apply? Is that applying to Apple or is that applying to Tesla? So, um, so that's what we're going to be talking about now is chunking and how we might be able to do stuff like that. So generally, what that's going to be is is you're going to, most people will chunk into what are called noun phrases. And these are just going to be groups of, well, it'll be a noun, and we'll have a bunch of modifiers around that noun, and, and it'll be kind of like a, a descriptive sentence, I suppose, or a descriptive group of words surrounding that noun. Now, the downside of that is you're, you're only going to be able to use regular expressions. So what's going to happen is you, are for, like, you can only group things together as a chunk and it can only be a chunk of things that are touching each other as you'll see in a moment so that's kind of the only downside here uh, but you can at least chunk important words and then kind of break it out from there uh, if, if you wanted so anyways it'll be more useful I think to kind of visualize what chunking is now so we're gonna come down here and the way that we do chunking is we we make use a meshing of these part of speech tags and regular expressions. Now, if you are unfamiliar with regular expressions, you can still follow along. I'll try to explain it as good as I can. But you're going to have two brand new concepts being thrown at you here, and you may not know which is which. <laughs> like, are we looking at regular expressions here, or are we looking at like chunking code? Uh, so, if you need to learn about regular expressions, this is uh, PythonProgram.net. It's my website. Control F when you're on the basics tab anyways. If you're not here, you click and start learning basics. Regex, enter. We want this one actually. Um, video tutorial, text tutorial, we very fun. Now the main thing that we're gonna use with chunking is modifiers. So with your modifiers you've got things like uh, the plus sign means it ma it's one or more. Question mark means zero or one, no more. Asterisk means zero or more, so basically like any number or nothing. Uh, we probably won't use the dollar sign, the caret we won't be using really. You might, actually. Uh, probably not, though. The either or, you'll use that a lot. The range you'll use as well. So anyways, um, just keep that in mind. That's kind of what you need to know. Uh, with modifiers. I will still hold your hand through this, but like I said, it might be confusing if, you've, if you're not familiar with either of these concepts. So, coming down here, uh, let's get rid of tagged and then we'll go, or print tagged rather, keep tagged there. Now, we're ready to create our chunk gram. Chunk gram is going to be equal to, and generally people use triple quotes for their chunk grams because this one will be really simple, but a lot of times people are going to put them and separate them by lines because uh, they can get really long and complicated really fast. So chunk gram, use the triple quotes if you want, don't, if you don't want to, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, and we're going to chunk by, now most people are going to put the R in front to denote a form of regular expression here, but 
it, I'm pretty sure it's not necessary. We'll, we'll test that if I remember to. So now chunk, you can call this anything you want. You could call this um, hup if you wanted. Uh, it's just what it's going to be called when it finds it. So anyway, a chunk equals, and then you put the chunk that you want to you know find inside curly braces. Now, uh, to bring up or mention any form of part of speech tag, use these little I don't know, brackets, sideways, carrots. I don't know what the heck you call these. Someone tell me what you call these. Um, and first, let's say we're looking for any R, B. Now, what is an R, B? Let's head over. Oops, actually, let's go up. It's up here. R, B, adverb. Now, we want to find R, B, R, B, R, or R, B, S. Any adverb we want to find. How do we do it? Regular expressions. So we come on down here, RB, what would be a valid modifier to use? We want RB followed by basically any character. We could use the W, I suppose, but we're not going to do that. Uh, we're going to say RB, any character is the period, and then we're going to use a question mark. What does that mean? So the period is any character except for new line, basically, and tabs and stuff. And, oh, it's actually, I'm sorry, it's actually any. And as long as my own uh, tutorial is correct, it's actually any character except for a new line. I thought it was also tabs. Anyways, moving on. Uh, RB, so anything, and then question mark is 0 or 1. Because as you can see, we don't have any part of speech tag that is longer, for, well, at least for RB, uh, than three characters. Okay, but possessive pronouns can be. And they use a dirty dollar sign there. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway. Moving on, uh, so that's fine. Uh, any adverb, then we're gonna say what? We'll say asterisk. What is asterisk? Zero or more. So we're saying any form of an adverb, and we're looking for zero or more of these. So this chunk will chunk whether or not there is an adverb. But if there is one, we'll get it. Then we'll have another one. And then we're just gonna have VB. And then we'll use the exact same code that we used before, which is period question mark. And again, if we find one, great. If not, no problem. Then we're going to look for an NNP. What's an NNP, Harrison? Let's go up. NNP, proper noun. And hot diggity, there's an example of a proper noun. It's me. So we'll come on down here, NNP. Uh, we are going to require the existence of a NNP. Then we're going to do a, oops, a plausible NN. Let's go back up. NN is just a noun. Okay. So NNP, singular, proper noun, followed by possible noun, singular, anything. Now, that's our chunk. Sweet. So hopefully you guys followed along there. If you have any questions, as always, ask below. Now what we're ready to do is uh, parse via this chunk gram. So we're going to say chunk parser equals NLTK.regex parser. And the regex parser we want to use is the chunk gram. Now chunked is going to equal uh, the chunk parser dot parse the tagged part of speech stuff and then we can do the following print chunked use another bitch what did I do reg x oh right I'm pretty sure in my original tutorial series I swear I hit this reg x P parser, and I'm almost positive they're doing this because it's regular expressions and then parser, but no one says regex. They say regex. I don't know. Anyway, let's try this again. I'm almost positive that hit me in the original tutorial. Uh, it's just going to go for a while, so control C to break it. And so this is your, um, you know, basically out of the output. And what you're looking for is chunk, right? This is chunk. So chunk state. Here's another chunk, union address, chunk, united, capital. So it's finding all these nouns, basically. White House, chunk, chunk. Okay. Now, this is kind of ugly. 
the computer loves this stuff, but the human hates it. So what you can do with um, NLTK, if you grabbed, if you have matplotlib, if you don't have matplotlib, this probably won't work. But chunked dot draw, save and run that, and now you have this. Look at us! Wow, that's way too many chunks. What has happened? For the, maybe because that's the start of. It's probably because it's like this initial, yeah. Right. So the initial stuff here, uh, <laughs> that was a little rough. But anyway, President George W. Bush. And as we can see that really we actually would want to chunk these all together, right? So maybe any amount of NNPs. So we could come down here, NNP... Um, one or more is what we want, so we want to do a plus. Okay, so now let's try that again. I don't know how far deep this one was, but it was a, it was a few X's. So anyway, let's just rerun it. Um, okay, so that's a little better. Um, ooh, that's not so hot, but... It, this is hard because of the original stuff, but President George W. Bush, that is a correct chunk. Um, let's get out of this initial stuff. Mr. Speaker, Vice President Cheney. <laughs> this is a tough. This is a tough one for uh, Python. Anyway, we'll start on this one. So this is the original one that we wanted to chunk for sure. Um, so President George W. Bush, good State of the Union. Uh, again, you could add this stuff into your chunk. Like you could have a a possible preposition, a possible. I forget what DT stands for, but it's like useless words. I'm pretty sure. Um, close, close, close. White House, put that together. Eric Draper, every time. Draper, I'm not, that's almost like he's missing a uh, space there. Um, Capital Dome, that's a good catch. Okay, have served America. All right, you get the point. So this is how we're chunking um, a bit of information together. Obviously, again, like I was trying to point out our chunk is extremely basic and as you can see as we move forward we can think of a lot of like little stuff that we're like hmm I wouldn't mind adding this or that or a possible of this and so as you can imagine these chunks can get really long okay <laughs> so anyway feel free to mess with it I actually highly encourage you to kind of play around with this try to catch that of the or yeah I think it was like of the see if you can catch that and uh, while I'm thinking about it, let's look at DT again determiner yeah DT for not important. Anyway, um, so that's chunking. Now in the next tutorial video, we're going to talk about basically kind of a, a different task, and that's going to be chinking. And that's going to be so chunking is the you know grouping of things. Chinking is going to be the removal of something. Get that out. So we'll talk on that in the next video. If you have any questions or comments on this video, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until next time.